Rip Hart Wilson, would you, uh, we've had an objection. Would you explain your amendment? I would, now that we're all in the same place. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So this is in AYK Region Fisheries Management Building Materials. And FY17 actuals for 26,000 and FY19 governor 227,200. A decrease of 100,000 leaves 127,200 for building materials. In FY18, the Department of Fish and Game eliminated the Fish and Game State Facilities rent allocation and reallocated $2,125,000 of UGF funding for various divisions. The $2,125,000 was transferred from the Fish and Game State Facilities Rent Allocation to the service line uh, in the following allocations. Commercial Fisheries Statewide Fisheries Management received $1,025,000 of that money. Wildlife Conservation received $540,000. And Sport Fisheries received $560,000. Services, well, so what I'm saying, Mr. Chairman, is that when the representative uh, who's putting forward these, these uh, amendments, uh, she's talking about concern for increases in certain line items, um, but these are, are a result of the fund shifts that took place when they eliminated a statewide funding policy of a fish and game state, statewide facilities rent and delivered it out into the, uh, into the different departments. And so therefore, that helps explain um, the reasons for those increases in funding, um, that they're not actual increases, that they're just a transfer of monies. And this would be true for the amendments that we heard yesterday, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, and for the ones we're going to hear today, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. It helps explain why there's these increase in funds uh, asked for in, the, in this year's budget. So I just thought that that might clarify, uh, quote, your, your general question as to where, why do we need these increases? Um, it is. It's on page 10, actually, in the book. Um, general funds, the $1,025,000. Um, but it's in its own line item, it is not reflected in these amendments because it's in a different part of your budget in commercial fisheries. So, I mean, I'm just trying, you know... I, I am agreeing that you did transfer that in to all the different areas that Representative Ortiz said, but it is not um, part of the reflection of the increases in these particular um, parts of the fish and game budget. It did not affect your building materials or the other services we talked about up yesterday. It's actually in its own line item of increase in services. R right. And, through, and You do have the option of being able to move your funds around. Um, where my concern is, and, and, and for some of these amendments, is when we start moving hundreds of thousands of dollars around and sometimes even millions of dollars, then you have to find, figure out whether or not what missed the mark. You know, are we spending a lot more money in an area that we didn't think we were? And is that something that the, that the legislature wants to be able to do? Um, so I understand that these numbers wouldn't be exact, and that's why I didn't take the numbers back to actual FY17, because that would not have been fair to have done, but I only took the ones that had big gains to it. I also made sure that personnel was not affected. I made, we, we did it detailed to where we looked at the personnel, took out the federal funds, took out the general fund, the match, never touched any general fund match. So when we got down to this level to start being that far off is concerning when we are the ones that appropriate the funds. So I understand what you're saying, mm -hmm. um, but this particular instant, the rent, has really no impact on, the, on these two changes I have here. HDF, HDGF 9, uh, this particular amendment um, is brought, it's a question for the, for the representative, it's brought because of your concern that the lapse in funds uh, by UGF in this particular category was your calculation what? Representative Wilson? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First of all, it wasn't a lapse necessarily. I think the department spends every dime we get them. Give them. Well, so actually, they returned $17,800. No. $17, they didn't spend it all. They returned $17,800. What I am trying to wait, do. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's okay. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Chairman. He's going through the chair. Sure, sorry. Through the chair, Representative Ortiz. 
I have talked to several accountants from yesterday to today because I was very concerned yesterday when we heard from O&B that we were getting too far down in the details. And really, we had no business to be in the details, which I completely disagree with. And so my conversation was, you know, how accurate should it be when we start getting down into the details? And um, I was told by, by the two that I talked to that, you know, when it starts getting 100000 especially a $1 million over, then your next question has to be to the department, why are you moving it over into other areas? Well, we didn't have, you know, I don't sit on Fish and Game. I didn't have that opportunity to have those kinds of discussions. What the message is to the departments for me is that I want to see more accuracy in these areas so that if we get to a point that we are going to add taxation, much less taking people's dividend, I want to be able to go back to North Pole, where I still live, um, and be able to explain that this is why we need the money. Um, but if these numbers are not accurate because we're truly, we should only be looking at travel, should be looking only at personnel and only looking on that first sheet, then that's a total different way of doing the budget that we're currently doing. And so we were told by the chair at the beginning that he didn't want to see unallocated cuts. So to take travel and say I'm just going to cut 5% of travel was not what we were tax tasked to do. And so for me, as somebody who grew up in the private world as a bookkeeper, not an accountant, um, taught by my grandmother on how all my lines have to match up across and down, this is the detail you have to look into to find out whether or not money is being pretty accurately reflected or not. And that's why I went down into this detail. Trying to follow what the chair um, asked us to do and also so that we have a better understanding where the money truly that we're giving the departments is being spent. And Representative Wilson, first of all, 